evening guys, um, you'll have to excuse where we're sat at the moment because it's pretty windy. Uh, we're up on, well we're Seathwaite Fell and we've come down to camp at Sprinkling Tarn which is just over the shoulder there and in a sec Josh will do the, what's the word? Do the honours. Josh will do the honours and show us a, a look around, won't you? Yes, yes, yes he will. Um, it wasn't too bad getting up but as dads do you try and find a shortcut and the shortcut was a little bit um, it was steep it was shorter though but it was steep wasn't it it took us to the the cairn which is the cairn the trig point is like right over there um, so it's probably better we walked from over that way to over this way rather than coming on the nice path which comes around it's a proper nice walk up here I think it took us about an hour and a half maybe two about two. About two hours. Um, did you think it was hard? Yeah, a bit at parts, it was quite hard, but... Yeah. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Yes. No, it was, a, I think the end bit was a little bit harder than what we thought it would be, to be fair. Um, doing that shortcut, it was just straight up, straight up, straight up, and I was like, wow. But um, it wasn't too bad. And where we've got the tent is it's quite a nice place. There's loads of people here, I mean, Jesus. I thought it'd be proper quiet. I thought Wednesday, there's not gonna be anyone out, but obviously it's half term. And I mean, I should know, because Josh goes to school. Um, but it, it was bedlam on the way down. On the way up, in fact, it was it was constant people walking past on the way up. But um, all is good in the hood. We are here now, and that's what counts, isn't it, Josh? Is there anything you'd like to add? No. Come on, no. I had something. Not really anything I want to add. Is there not? No. Think no. of something. I don't know. Speak to your sister. What? Say something nice about your sister. I don't, I don't know. Go on, tell Lois you love know. her. Say, Lois, I love you. No. <laughs> no. All right, speak to you in a minute, guys. Josh will just show you the, um, the views now, anyway. Okay, cheers, guys. Later.
Evening guys, um, just a quick one really, uh, we, it's quite windy so I'm not sure what the sound quality is going to be like on this video, I mean I, I could be honest and say we've just sat here for five minutes and filmed the video and realised that Josh didn't plug the microphone in and he tried to blame me but uh, we, we, we didn't do that obviously. There we did. Uh, anyway, it's, it's super windy. It's so all right here. It's about 20 kilometres an hour. But up there at the top, because we went there to see if we could get a, a sunset, but you, you, we couldn't really see any sunset at all. Um, it was like 50, 60 mile an hour, mile an hour, kilometres an hour. It sounds so much worse. We see the nine miles an hour. It's, it's nice down here, but to me, it's too busy and. Josh was saying there's 10 to 12 tents, you can see all that, so it is super busy and I thought it would be super quiet on, on a Wednesday, but clearly not. Um, it's nice because you're by the water, it's nice because you've got great end over Josh's head. It looks like it's going to piddle down, clouds aren't looking good, looking quite ominous there. So I doubt we're going to get any stars really. I keep stroking my legs. If you notice that every time I'm sitting there just stroking my legs, I don't know why. It's like a comforting thing. Josh just places his fingers and I stroke my legs. But uh, hopefully it'll be a nice night. Hopefully we'll get stars. Hopefully we'll get a bit of a sunrise in the morning. But I'm not holding my breath. I don't know how deep this uh, sprinkling is. It's a sprinkling tarn. Sprinkling tarn is. So we might go in there tomorrow. But there's plenty of things tomorrow on the way down. If you, if you ever come here to Seathwaite Fell, you'll see the path that goes up, it's, it's so nice, there's so little waterfalls down the side, it's, it's all paved, lovely all the way to the get to the top, it's very similar to when you go to Haystacks, it's a, it's, it's a lovely, slow, gradual, um, not particularly steep pathway, but um, until you get to the daddy's shortcut, which was stupid, but he got us here quicker, I'm sure he got us here quicker, but it was just anyway unless Josh has got anything to say no 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 okay see you in the morning anyway guys take care
guys. Um, just a quick one before we end it. We've both got our hands in our pockets, just proper farmers. Um, it was quite a good wild camp to be fair. Um, dead easy to find your way up, isn't the past dead straight forward. You just go through down the street through the farm and follow the path all the way up. It takes a while to be fair. I, I thought it was like an hour and a half, it might be longer. I think it's about it's nearly three miles to Stihad Tarn and so you add another mile on to Sprinkling Tarn so it's quite far um, but the past dead nice just don't try and do any uh, daddy shortcuts because they don't they don't pay dividends I, it, it cut time definitely I think but um, it was just steep straight up straight up but like Josh you could tell Josh wasn't very yeah. happy very Josh yeah. um, Give a rating, Josh. Give a rating for this one. Like an eight. Give it an eight? Yeah. See, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether that deserves an eight. I don't like places that are like, you know, like densely populated. There's lo there was loads of wild campers there last night. I'm not sure that I like that. Mm. I like it quiet. I like the swimming little bit. There's like a little stream with a bridge and you can go swimming in there. I think that's nice. Um, the town. Do you know what? It's all right. But I think when you can't... When you camp by a town, you're not going to see the best sunrises or sunsets because you're kind of in a dip. So that's what I don't like about it. I mean, it's nice to look at, but I think I prefer to be on the top and having a look at full, full on sunsets. So maybe the next one we might go high. So mm. I'm going to give it a six. Six. I'm going to give it a six. Are you going to stick with an eight? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, maybe go for seven. No, in, in between. Eight. <laughs> okay. Just like just likes the water. It's nice when the tent because we were right by the edge. You can hear the water. And to be fair, I probably had the best sleep I ever had. Even though we never went to bed till about midnight, I was up at half five. But I think I only woke up about three or four times, which is, is pretty good for me. But um, all in all, it was a good wild camp. I, I was quite happy with it. And thank you, Josh, for coming because Josh wasn't going to come. You see, Josh decided he was going to stay and let me go alone. But um, he changed his mind. Because I, I had my vaccine on Sunday and I said to him, if, if anything went wrong, I could have a footy turn and I'd be up, up on the mountain by myself. So he felt inclined to come with me, did it? So thank, thank you, mate. Thank you. But until um, next time, guys, um, adios.